Hi, my name is Ashley Share with Share Love Fund, and I'm going to do a 10 minute meditation. And it's, um, it's about the freedom that when we take control of all the impulses, whether it's eating or running our mouths or, you know, maybe struggling with addictions, it's about really checking in with ourselves and figuring out how can we pay attention to ourselves and really have some self-love so that we want to care for ourselves in a more meaningful way. This meditation is specifically for all the women at Rosie's in Rikers Island Jail. There's a chance that sometimes we don't know what the best thing in our life will be or what the worst thing. And sometimes we just have to stop evaluating what has happened and just breathe and allow ourselves the freedom of a little peace with each breath. And I encourage you to just take it one breath at a time. So find a comfortable position. Maybe you want a walking meditation. Maybe you want to be seated on your bed, on the floor, in a chair. Maybe you want to use this to help you fall asleep. However you want, this is for you. And you have the answers within you. And you know, it's just try, Try it and see see how it serves you. Let's continue now. We'll breathe deeply and we'll feel ourselves welcomed with each breath. With each breath, we'll feel a wholeness of our bodies and we're creating a journey to deep self-care. You're connecting with your breath at the center, the core of you. You feel grounded and supported by the rhythm of your breath. You're opening your awareness to yourself and your body and creating the intention to let go of all that no longer serves you. And whenever you need to feel grounded you can take a deeper breath and connect a little deeper with yourself. You're moving forward one step at a time, mindfully moving forward. You could physically be walking, but this is like also just a metaphor, just like you're progressing to where you need to be and you're having um, faith that all you need to do is take it one breath at a time. That's not really um, advice. It's just that it's not all you need to do. It's just that like when you take it one breath at a time, when you really, really breathe and pause, you become a better decision maker. So through calming down and taking a few good breaths, then the decisions and the things that are good for you to do, that will be more evident. Decisions made out of anger they generally lead to more trouble. Decisions made after breathing and calming down generally lead to a more constructive path. We'll breathe and continue to deepen our breath with each exhale and inhale. We begin to encourage our body to relax and feel supported and a deep sense of settledness. With each breath, we feel a little deeper connected and a little bit more relaxed with the rhythm.
You can imagine yourself engaging in some of the things that are destructive. If it's too painful and you want to stop, feel free to stop this meditation. If there's a way to imagine these things, just like it's playing on a movie screen, it's not really you. Sometimes it really helps to observe and even if it's painful, let it pass because that's the way to really let go of it is to first acknowledge and accept it. And then when it comes again, it doesn't hurt so much. So sometimes allowing us to feel things really heals us. And if it makes us cry, there's actually a hormone that's released when you cry that's comforting. So sometimes we just need to feel it and cry and let it pass, like removing a splinter, but you know, times a million. And that's how to let go of it because you know, when you're carrying on everything that's happened to you, you're using your energy on the past and you're not focused on the present, which is building you today. And you deserve to have all your time and attention on you right now, building you. You deserve to have self-care and not self-punishment and to focus on yourself and what is going to serve you. And with each inhale, breathe in light and love to serve you. When you imagine and see destructive things that have prevented you from self-care, imagine yourself not interested and those things are no longer attractive to you. So just you can kind of like make a face at it or but then try to relax because it is a meditation. But really try to associate those things that no longer serve you with them not being attractive and not interesting to you anymore because what you are interested in is the awesome self of you and you're gonna use all your energy to focus on building you from the inside out, breathing, nurturing yourself with air, exercising, moving, doing yoga flows, doing another exercise that you prefer. It doesn't need to be my stuff. It just needs to be what you think is the best thing for you. You're the boss of you. Imagine yourself making healthy choices. Imagine yourself wanting to make those healthy choices. Imagine your body feeling good after you've made those healthy choices. Imagine yourself feeling nourished and connected and appreciating you and all that you have to offer. Imagine yourself feeling pleasantly surprised from the freedom that you have when you are the decider and you are making healthy choices for you and I know the mind is going to jump to say, well, I can't make healthy choices because I'm here and I'm incarcerated and this and that. But you know what? Maybe you can use this time and make the best of it. I know that sounds insensitive to say, but just try to breathe and connect with yourself and get to know you because you are going to have you for the rest of your life and imagine yourself making healthy choices and imagine feeling good about it and create positive patterns of behavior and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And then when you, later in life, when bad choices are presented to you, you won't be as likely to do them because you will have focused repeatedly in meditation, visualizing yourself making good and healthy choices and visualizing how great you'll feel from it. So this is how to create new patterns and new pathways. You know, has it ever occurred to somebody when everything seems to go wrong in life, 
I don't know, maybe doing something different might work. Maybe it won't, but why not try if it's not hurting you or, you know, or take a deep breath and think of another plan. It doesn't need to be my plan. It needs to be the plan that you decide that's best because you have all the answers within you. Nobody can tell you what is best for you. Only you know, but it's hard to connect with your own good advice when your mind is repeating what everyone else did wrong. So meditation is a tool to connect with your mind to just try to hear your own good advice. So let's just take a deep breath on that. Your mind has the power to do anything you want. You are in control. You are the strategy and the conscious and the unconscious mind and it is up to you. You can visualize yourself doing activities that you want to repeat. You can visualize how you're going to respond or not respond in situations to have more control. You can breathe to make space. You can feel emotions but not act on them because you're rising above because you have a plan and let's take a few breaths with having a plan and rising above. You are your own best friend. So let's get connected with our breath. Namaste.